Hi everybody. Though the types and purposes of assessment were explained to you in the previous two videos, you as an educator or facilitator of an early learning center should be aware of the indicators of effective assessment. That is going to be dealt to you in this video. At the end of this video, you will be able to analyze the most important indicators of effective assessment, comprehend certain terms namely developmentally appropriate, individually tailored and culturally responsive assessment. Now, what are the indicators of effective assessment? The purposes of assessment of early childhood education are very clearly portrayed the need for appropriate, valid, reliable and ethical procedure of assessment. Moreover, the assessment should be developmentally responsive, culturally appropriate and linguistically reactive involving day-to-day -day activities of all children enrolled in the program with a family inclusive approach. The following subheads gives a clear picture of the necessary indicators of effective assessment with that of the consideration to accomplish the indicators. First indicator is assessment procedure should be guided by ethical principles. Every child to be provided with equal opportunities do not decide on evidence from a single source. Go for multiple sources. Confidentiality of the findings of assessment should be maintained. The second indicator of assessment is that the assessment procedures to be based on the proposed purpose. Assessment tool should not mismatch with the intended purpose. For example, screening tests can be administered only to identify learning or developmental needs. It cannot be used to determine the readiness level of a child. The third indicator is assessment procedure should be age appropriate and culturally responsive. The tools used for assessment should have been validated with children growing in similar conditions. Moreover, the special concerns of the children should also be considered in tool selection. The fourth principle is standardization criterion to be met for quality assessment. The tools should meet certain standardization criterions, namely the high reliability and validity of the tool. Fifth indicator is that the assessment tool should be developmentally appropriate and educationally significant. The tools of assessment are different for different age groups and the levels of learning and development is also different. So appropriateness becomes a core of the assessment. Sixth indicator is that the evidence of assessment should be used to improve teaching learning. The perfect assessment facilitates teacher to learn such that they can adapt changes in curriculum or plan individualized instruction. Seventh indicator is evidence of assessment should be gathered in actual situations. Assessment in real setting gives a true performance of the child so assessment should not be experimental. The eighth indicator is assessment should be from multiple sources of evidence collected at different times. Validation of evidence is done by conducting systematic and repeated assessment procedures. Proper documenting and interpretation is also needed. Ninth indicator is that screening should be followed by a diagnosis which is already dealt in the previous video. The tenth indicator is that the diagnostic testing is needed when a possible problem is identified in a child. Eleventh indicator is that the families of children should be aware of the assessment. Families to be made aware of providing accurate evidence of the child's capacities are considering the assessment as a process of improving outcome evaluation. Looking at the indicators of effective assessment procedure, three key terms that need further explanation are developmentally appropriate assessment, culturally responsive assessment and individually appropriate assessment. What is developmentally appropriate assessment? The assessment in early childhood needs extra consideration as assessment that was found to be effective with children in their late childhood and adolescence would not work with children in their early years. This is mainly due to certain characteristics of the early childhood period namely these children have unique developmental and learning needs and they grow and change rapidly. Moreover, the children in the early childhood period cannot learn in isolation. They learn a concept by acquiring basic knowledge of the things related to it. Hence, it is not enough that the activities provided to children need to be developmentally appropriate, but also the simultaneous process of assessment needs to be developmentally appropriate. 
Now, what is culturally responsive assessment? First, on to the socio-economic status. It's a well-known fact that each child has got a unique style of comprehending and learning concepts. Hence, an assessment procedure to be conducted in a young child should consider certain cultural factors relevant to the child to be assessed. The most important factors are socio-economic status. Considering the factor of socio-economic status as a factor in deciding the test question or activities in assessment doesn't mean framing easy questions or tasks for children of lower ex economic status. But formulating questions based on the experiences gained by the children of lower socio-economic status in relation to higher status should be done. And regarding mother language, allow the children to take up assessments in their mother tongue as battling with the language during assessment would not give accurate results. Now, what is individually appropriate assessment? A child with possible learning and developmental needs or referred to as children with special needs. For such children, the assessment has to be carried out as per the laws governing them. The tools of assessment should have certain modifications and accommodations to suit special child. For example, a child with a physical disability should be allowed to answer questions verbally rather than writing or a child with less attention span can be given extra time to finish the procedure of assessment. Now, let us sum up the whole module on why, what and when of assessment in an early learning center. The assessment process is an ongoing procedure of collecting information from various sources concerning the learning and the developmental needs of young children. Furthermore, the information thus gathered is documented, organized and interpreted to make decisions in curriculum planning and instructional pedagogy. The module also clearly brings out the four purposes of assessment with the types of formal and informal assessment practices that befits in it. Correspondingly, the indicators of effective assessment with special emphasis on developmentally appropriate, culturally responsive and individually appropriate assessment practices were explicitly explained. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye.